Hi, I'm Daniel Andrews, owner and creator of uh, Dan Talks Football, and today I have a video from my weekly series. It's uh, Football 101, and these videos are designed for those of you who know nothing about football. I'm here to explain the game for you. Now, first off, football comes from war. Basically, everything you see on the football field is simulated warfare. Now, this is a scene from the movie The Patriot, and you can see here the two sides. They're just lined up against each other. This is the way war has been fought for thousands of years. And uh, let's go over and look at uh, the Chiefs versus the Bills. Ironically, uh, both pitchers have the teams in blue and red. Now, this video is just the bare bones basics. And first off, I'm going to explain everything at the bottom of the screen. Now, you see both teams are listed. You have Buffalo and Kansas City. And the three dashes underneath the team names, those are the timeouts. Uh, each team gets three timeouts and a half. Now, football is played in four quarters, and the black rectangle to the right of uh, the Kansas City is, uh, a, there's a first followed by 15. First is the quarter. Football is played in four 15-minute quarters, and each quarter is 15 minutes long. The number six uh, to the right of that is the play clock. You have 40 seconds uh, after a play ends to uh, get lined up and start a play. If that play clock here as you can see there's six seconds left for the play to start if that clock reaches zero uh the referee will blow a whistle and it a delay of game penalty uh is is called now i almost forgot uh the four and one next to the teams uh that that's the record of each team so both teams are four and one going into this game now at the far right you'll see first and ten and that's what's called the down and distance in football you have four downs to get ten yards and now usually when teams don't get a first down after the first three plays, they usually punt on fourth down. You're not required to punt, but teams usually punt about 90 to 95% of the time. Now I'll get into when and when you when you punt and when you don't punt in a later video, but uh, again, this is just the bare bones basics. The first and 10 um, for this video is known as the down in distance. And when you advance 10 yards, you get what's called a first down and the chances to advance the football resets. Now let's look at this play into a little more detail. Uh, first off, the yellow and blue lines are computer generated. It's going to appear that the players can see these lines, but they do not exist. If you're watching this game live, you won't see either one of these uh, lines. They're uh, generated so that they're easier to see for television. Now, the blue line is the line of scrimmage, and the yellow line is where the first down is located. Now, just like war, you have two sides. The offense is on one side of the line of scrimmage, and the defense is not allowed to cross that line of scrimmage until the play starts. What, when a play starts is when the center snaps the ball back to the quarterback. Now, if you're on the offensive side of the line of scrimmage, you must be set or be still until the ball is snapped. So I'm going to show you uh, exactly what this formation looks like. Let's go to the whiteboard here. And uh, basically, we're going to just go ahead and I'm going to actually just draw this formation out for you. Uh, this is pretty simple. What you have is uh, this is a formation where you have five offensive linemen. Uh, the one hiking the ball is the center. He's in the middle, uh, followed by a guard on each side. So it's, it's formations by uh, the quarterback. So the quarterback will be behind him here. Uh, to his left will be the left guard, a left tackle, and then to his right will be the right guard and the right tackle. Now, in this particular formation, they have what's called a tight end. He is also lined up on the line of scrimmage. Uh, behind him is a running back. And let me do this here because they're in what's called a shotgun formation. And so he's about five yards back roughly and to his left is the running back and um, they have a wide receiver here and on the other side here there's two wide receivers now this isn't the best drawing now neither one of these wide receivers are on the line of scrimmage but that's basically what this formation looks like the seven people that are on the line of scrimmage are here you have to have seven people on the line of scrimmage for every single play. 
Now, again, this is just a bare bones basics uh, describing an offensive play. If you do have any comments, questions, or suggestions, drop a comment below. And also, all my social media links are listed in the description. If there's something that uh, you want me to make or a video, anything at all, you can DM me. Uh, full disclosure, I've been obsessed with football for over 40 years. So this series is kind of hard for me. It's, it's really hard to get inside of a mind of somebody who doesn't know anything about football. So if there's something I didn't make clear or you have a question, just drop a comment below. Don't forget, like the video, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it already and ring the bell. That way you're notified every time I come out with a new video. Now next week, I'm gonna do a 101 video on the defensive side of ball. And don't forget, I go live every Tuesday and Friday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can join the live stream and ask questions on the live stream, anything goes. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon.